Hello and welcome to Color Up. How would you like to win $10,000 a week without fail? Well, if that's you, well, if that's you, then you've come to the exact wrong place because I don't peddle in that kind of bull crap. Now, what I will tell you is that the casino holds an edge on every single bet and craps. So for this strategy, you can pay $100 for it online or you can watch it here on Color Up for free. Let's check out the Stern method. This video is part of our Dice Advice series and today's strategy was submitted by Ryan Vander Hayden. So thank you very much, Ryan. And this is called the Stern Don't Pass strategy. Now the Stern strategy is an old popular strategy and it's typically done on a, you know, close to 50-50 bet where you're paid one to one. So in craps, it'll be like the pass or the don't, you know, things, games like such as Baccarat or red and black on roulette. So that type of situation. Now I did a little research on the strategy online and it's a little irritating to see people selling this strategy. So you can stumble across websites like this. Stern strategy, win 10,000 a week without fail. Here's how you can make a guaranteed $2,500 a day. In 20 years of using it, George has never had a losing visit to the casino. The Stern strategy is so good that you will play at an advantage over the casino. Look, you don't even have to worry about losses. Instead, you just worry about winning 500,000, even 5,000 a day in profits. Oh look, the strategy is 100% effective online as well. And this goes on and on and on and on and on. And at the end, you can order it for only $99.97. Look, there is no secret strategy. This game is based off of math and the casino keeps a small portion of every single bet that you make. So no matter what you do, they'll always be taking a small portion and in the long run, they will always win. Does that mean you can't win at the game of craps? No, absolutely not. You definitely can have a good roll or a winning streak. And as long as you walk away, you can win some money at craps. But over the long term, you're fighting a losing battle because they are taking that percentage every time. Look, I just wanted to add quickly, I don't begrudge anyone making a living selling products or services, classes, or anything related to craps. If you want to pay for training or a strategy, that's, that's up to you. I have no issue with that. That is, you know, the buyer's market. If you're willing to pay for it, fine. My issue is don't sell it under false pretenses with false claim after claim after claim, guaranteeing things that you, well, that you shouldn't be guaranteeing. And as everyone knows, if it's too good to be true, it's probably not true. With all that out of the way, let's take a look at the Stern Don't Pass strategy. So this is a simple progression strategy, but where it differs from something, say like a Martingale, where you double your bet every time, this has a certain sequence of bets. So it's a little more conservative. So in the case of the Stern methods, you would use the sequence of bets of, this is a unit, one unit, one unit, one unit, two, two, four, four, eight, and eight. So let's say you're on a $5 table. You would start with one unit of $5. If you lose, you move to the next number in the sequence to the right, which in this case is another $5 unit. You lose that, you move to $5 again. If you lose here, you jump up to two units, so that would be a $10 bet. If you lose again, you'd go to another $10 bet, and then you'd jump up to $20, you'd bet $20 again, and then you'd jump up to $40, and then $40 again. If, you've, if you went through the whole sequence, you could start back down at the beginning. Now, anytime you win, let's say we're on the fourth number in the sequence, we're on two units. So we win here, we will repeat the bet. If we lose, we just continue along with the sequence. If we win for our second time, we collect all the winnings and we restart back down at one unit. Now, there is a variation on the strategy where, let's say we're at the two unit level, you win instead of just doing the same bet and trying to win for the second time, you take your winnings off the first hit and you parlay it. Obviously, this is gonna be a little bit more aggressive. Again, you're typically looking at even money bets. So in this example, Ryan asked me to show it on the don't pass and he's gonna use $25 bets with a bankroll of $1,500. Well, 1550 to be exact, which actually would let you run through the sequence twice, um, losing everything and it would be a total of $1,550 loss at a $25 bet. So it's a bankroll for an, enough for, to run, enough bankroll to run through the sequence twice. So let's go ahead and check it out. All right, let's go ahead and start with a $25 don't pass. Ryan asked me to use $25 units, but you only need one unit to start the Stern method. And here we go. Let's see if we can set a point. And it is a eight. Eight's the point, mark the eight. Now this could get a little tedious and time consuming, waiting for decisions on the don't pass, depending on how long my rolls are. So whether I don't think I'll make it through all the bankroll, but we'll play 
through for a little bit and just see what happens. So at this point, we're looking for a seven. Playing the don'ts, the seven's our friend. There's a nine. And there's a five, one, six. And the six. All right, six again. And there's the seven, seven out. So we're gonna get paid one to one. We won for our first time, so we're just gonna simply repeat the bet, and in this case, we're still at, the, at one unit, the very first bet in the sequence. Puck's gonna come off. Let's see what happens. And it's a four, points four, mark the four. That's good for us. A little tougher to hit. And I guess not that tough enough. So we, we, we hit the four, which means we're gonna lose our don't. Puck's gonna come off. So in this point, we're gonna to move to the second number of sequence, which again, in this case, is just one unit again. All right, here we go. Coming out. And the point's gonna be five, five's the point. All right, let's see if we can hit big red. And no roll, dice off the table. And it is a seven, of course it is. T dice went off the table, right? Seven out. So that's a winner for us. So we won, and so we're gonna do same bet, but we're on the second one unit in the sequence. If we win here, we will drop back to the very first number in the sequence. And it is 11, yo 11. So on the come out, that's a loser for us. So now we move to the third number in the sequence, which is again, one more unit. Let's see what happens. And the point is gonna be six, four, two, six. All right, let's see some big red action. Up against the wall, we have a five, four, nine. And an eight, five, three, eight. And seven, seven out, very good. So we win our bet there. And we will stay at level three in the sequence, which is again, one unit. If we win this, we start over, if we lose, then we'll, we'll jump it to the next number of sequence, which is gonna be two units. And seven on the come out. That's a loss for us. So we'll go ahead and move down the sequence. So now we're going to bet two units. Oh, by the way, last week I mentioned sending in hats and Leah from Phoenix was nice. I don't know if Leah in Phoenix was nice enough to send me in the Arizona state hat. So thank you, Leah. Little shout out to Leah and it is, uh, was it Fear the, F something like that, Fear the Fork, right, at Arizona State. So that was really awesome of her to send me in a hat. All right, we're at two units, let's see what happens. And 10, 10's the point, it's pretty good for us. Let's see if it works out. There we go, seven, seven out. So in that case, we're gonna win two units or $50, but we're gonna stay there at that level in the sequence. Pucks off, and we're looking for a new point. And the point's gonna be six, six hard. And there we go, seven, seven out. So a quick two unit or $50 win. Now because we have two wins, now we drop all the way back to the first number in the sequence, which is gonna be one unit. Pucks off, and here we go. And it's gonna be a nine, points nine. All right, let's see what happens here. And it is a five, four, one, five. 10. We don't care about any of the numbers except for the nine. And there's a winner seven for us. It's a seven out. So we win one unit. Here, we'll just repeat our bet. Coming out. And it's gonna be eight, point's gonna be eight hard. Let's see what happens. Up against the wall, we have a six, six hard. And it's a five. And two, two snake eyes. And we have a nine. 
and two, two again. This is the tedious part that I mentioned. So far the roll has been going pretty quick. We've been getting quick decisions, but a longer roll like this, and we're just sitting on a don't or pass, it's gonna take a while, eight, eight hard. So we hit our point, so we are gonna lose here. And now we're gonna bump to the second in the sequence, which again is just one unit. All right, here we go, coming out. And the new point is going to be a 639. So the point's a 9. And here we go. And it is a 4. Easy 4. And 7. 7 out. So that is a winner for us. But we're going to stay here in the second number in the sequence, but we're just going to re repeat our bet of one unit. And the point, the new point is going to be an eight. So if we win, we'll start over. If we lose, we go to the next number. And there's a five. And seven, seven out. So we win here. We can go ahead and rack that up. We're going to go reset and go back to the beginning of the sequence. One unit. And it's an eight. Eight's gonna be the point. Not favorable for us, but it just depends on how the dice roll. Six, four, two, six. And there's a 10, 10 easy. And seven, seven out. So it's a win for us. We can rack that up. We're just gonna stay, we're gonna repeat our bet and stay at the same position of one. All right, coming out. All right, it's gonna be six, six hard. Mark the six. Again, I'm doing pretty good because we chose to go on the don't. Again, if you know my videos, I am notorious for rolling short, seven outs. Two, two craps. And there's a seven, just like I said. So it's a win for us. We could do this all day, right? Just rack them up. Points off, we're gonna Stay at the same level at one. I mean, whether you rack this up and move it over, that's kind of just more money management. That's typically what I like to do is go through my bankroll, move everything over just so I kind of have a good gauge of where I'm at. All right, coming out. And six, six is gonna be the point. And here we go, looking for that big red. Seven, seven out. It's going quicker than I thought. So again, we'll just stay at level one. Set a new point. And seven on the come out, that's actually gonna be a loser for us on the don't. So we will move to the second sequence, which is one unit bet. And we're still looking for a point. Point's gonna be four. All right, here we go. And seven. Wow, a bunch of .7 outs. That's a win for us, so we rack that up. And we will stay in that second number, which is it's just one unit, but we're second the second number in the sequence. And the new point is gonna be a five, four, one, five. And seven, seven out. So we've got two wins which drops us back to, I think I did that right. I may have lost track a little bit. It doesn't really matter at these low levels. It's, it's always just one unit. Come on, stick in there, there we go. So we're back at the beginning, one unit, and we'll play this a little bit longer. And seven on the come out, that is bad for us. Followed up with another one unit bet, second number in the sequence. And it's a two, two craps. That's good for us, so we win. We'll stay at number two, one unit in the sequence. And we've got a point, finally, of 10. 10's our point. Eight, eight hard. And five, four, one, five. Eight hard again. And 
and three, three craps. Doesn't affect us in the middle of the game. And there's a seven. So that's going to be a win for us. And puck's off. We're still at, I think we're in the second number in the sequence. So we'll go for our second win. If we win, we'll restart. If we don't win, we keep moving along the sequence. Point's going to be eight. Three, three craps. And there's a six, four, two, six. And seven. Okay, that's our second win. So we, we reset back down to the bottom of the sequence. Back down to one unit. So I think we're doing all right. We'll give this a couple more rolls. Three, three craps on the come out. Quick win for us. We just rack it up and we'll repeat our bet. And in the point, it's gonna be eight. And we're looking for that seven. And the six, five, one, six. And a five. Yo, yo, 11. All right, three, two, five. Three craps, so I was a little surprised. Yeah, that this is actually, this demonstrations went okay without taking too long. Another winner, seven. Puck's gonna come off. And we'll, again, money manage wise, maybe you move this over, bring down a new bet if you're kind of shifting, but it really doesn't make a difference as far as the money goes. All right, let's try one more hand. And seven on the come out. Lost for us, so we move to number two in the sequence, which is one unit. And a five, point's gonna be five. And we hit our point. So that's gonna be a loser on the don't. I think that's the first time we hit our point. So the puck's gonna come off, that's a loser for us. So we're gonna move to number three in the sequence, which is again, one more unit. This will be the same shooter coming out. New point is six, five, one, six. And we got a nine. So again, if we, if we win, we'll repeat the bet. If we lose, we'll go ahead and go to two units. And it's gonna be a five. There's a nine. Dice off the table, no roll. For you superstitious people, this should work like magic, right? No, 10. And we have a three, three craps. We don't care about that. Dice off the table again. I would love to get a table, a real table with walls all the way around. Anyone willing to donate would be awesome. All right, it's a 10. I could build a little cheap one, but I really, you know, I'm not gonna worry about it until I can get an actual one. So six, six hard, we hit our point. So that's a loser. Puck's gonna come off. And now we jump to the fourth number in the sequence, which is going to be two units. All right, it's the same shooter looking for a point. And his new point is going to be five, five's the point. Here we go. Three, three craps. And two, two craps. There's a six. And an eight. I thought that was a thought that was a winner for us for a second. Up against the wall, we have a five, four, five, nine. And seven, seven out, there we go. So we're gonna win two units and we're gonna stay at that level because we're looking for a second win at that level before we restart. Pucks off and here we go. 10, 10 hard, that's gonna be our point. That's a good one for us, good chance. Lower probability of hitting that 10. 12, boxcars. But again, with dice, anything can happen so it really doesn't matter. 
three. And we have a five, three, two, five. There's a four. Looking for that big red. Here we go. And an eight. And dice off the table, no roll. So when you're playing the dome, it'll put you in a weird position because you still don't want to, you want to be somewhat courteous to the other players. You don't want to be rooting and yelling for the seven. Um, so it's, it's tough to root for it whenever you're playing the don't. Two, two craps. You could say big red, but it might be better off, you might be better off just kind of holding your tongue and just hope, and it is a six, two up against the corner, six, two, eight. Just kind of holding your tongue and maybe cheering inside a little bit. And 10, 10 hard. So we hit our point, so we lose that. So we're going to move to the next number in the sequence, which is two units again. And if we miss this one, we'll jump up to four units. So pucks off. We got a hot shooter. He's hit three points in a row, I believe. So that's a four. Point's going to be four. Again, favorable for us, but the dice really don't care about that. They'll roll what they want to roll. 10, 10 hard. And four, yikes. So again, we lose that and we'd have to bump up to four units. And I really don't have enough. I mean, I do, I have all these 100 chips here, but I think you get the gist of it and the point of it. You would just continue with the sequence of, you know, four units. If that wins, you'd play it again. If it hits, you'd restart. If it doesn't hit, you just move on the sequence and you would move up to eight units. Maybe in, a, maybe in a future video, I'll do the Stern method again using the parlay method. But thanks again, Ryan, for submitting the strategy to me. It was fun rolling it out for a little bit. Tell me in the comments what you guys think of the strategy. And yeah, again, Leah, thanks again for the hat. Go Arizona State. And until next time, good luck on coloring up.